Hi there, welcome to week four, part three. So um, if you've already done week four, part one and part two, this is the um, accumulation and a combination of all of the previous things that we've learned this week into one final assignment. So uh, this is a worksheet broken up into two parts. So part one, you're going to read an excerpt and then you're going to identify which type of um, argument is it using. It's using ethos, pathos, and logos. How do you know? Uh, provide reasoning why you know that with quoted evidence and MLA formats. Evaluate the speaker's perspective and reasoning. And again, that is evaluation, so that's your own opinion. And give me reason why. And also identify any fallacious reasoning or exaggerated or uh, distorted evidence. And that will also go in lines of do you think it's effective or not of the argument. That's it for part one. So let's go ahead and look at the questions. So, yeah, it's just an excerpt. And you're going to have to try to decide what are they using? Are they using ethos, pathos, or logos? What fallacies do they have, if any? And do you think they are being um, effective in terms of the reasoning? And what do you think their perspective is? And you do that over the time, a paragraph response for each one, please. And then when you go to the very bottom, um, honors will be making three advertisements. Um, regular language arts will just be making one. But you're going to make um, an own, your own made-up advertisement that has a slogan that has you know a product, and you're going to make it use ethos, pathos, and logos, and you're going to also um, incorporate a type of fallacious reasoning. So requirements are right there, and here are some examples. So if you want to, you can make an image here of that. So you can write alone. Uh, you can write when you write alone. You write with Hitler. And then the reason is join a, sh a, care a car sharing club today. So again, identify what type of um, fallacy that you're using there and what kind of argument are you building, ethos, pathos, or logos. And when you make your image or video, also provide a response of what you're doing and how do I know that it, you're doing that. And then I have another co um, commercial as there as an example. So again, language arts only has to do one. Uh, but if you're doing honors, you have to make three, each uh, one advertisement or image with ethos, one with pathos, and one with logos, and each having a different fallacy as well. Any questions, please let me know, but I will uh, be available over the weekend, and also I will be able to answer any questions on Monday or Tuesday. Good luck.